Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make tritium, uh, which is a fuel very commonly used in mechanism and mechanism processes, um, and is a very primary fuel uh, when building the mechanism fusion reactor. Uh, I'm doing this as part of the fusion reactor series, so if you'd like to get information on how to make the other fuels and how to build the actual fusion reactor, uh, you'll find those links down in the description of this video as well. Now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like, but most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button, so that way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. All right, so... We are going to need a couple machines to make this work. One is going to be called the Solar Neutron Activator. And that is going to be three bronze ingots, two elite control circuits, two reinforced alloy, steel casing, and an HDPE sheet. Next, we're going to need a chemical oxidizer. That is going to be four enriched alloy, two basic control circuits, a personal chest, dynamic tank, and basic gas tank. So these machines are what we're going to use to process this material. Uh, we'll also be using um, some energy extraction cables and energy cables from the cyclic mod, as well as the mechanism basic pressurized tool. For an RF power source, I'm just using a creative energy battery. Uh, some, one of these machines does need RF power, so you can use any type of reactor or generator. Anything that provides RF power will work to run that machine. Okay. and grab all of this. The last thing we're going to use um, as a product to turn into the tritium is going to be lithium dust. And lithium dust you can get from taking lithium ingots and putting them into a crusher or uh, any of the crushing factories or in a manufactory. All of those will turn lithium into lithium dust. All right, the so first things first, we're gonna put down the chemical oxidizer. Now, when I set it down, set it there, on the right-hand side, you see this square. On the left-hand side, you see a bigger one, okay? The right-hand side is gonna be where our uh, product is gonna come out. The left side is where we're gonna get our power from. So we'll go ahead and put down our creative battery, connect that with an energy extraction cable. You can see inside that this now has power. The other side of it here is where we're gonna put our basic pressurized tube. And then on top of that, we're going to put down our solar neutron activator. Okay? Now, again, the solar neutron activator does not require power. The process, that what it's actually doing, does require solar. So you don't need solar power, it's solar itself. Uh, but that means it does not work at night and it will not work inside of a, a building or something. It does have to have clear view of the sky. Uh, I believe you might be able to put glass between it and sunlight, uh, but nothing solid. And so this here is going to produce our material. Okay? Uh, now, here in the chemical oxidizer, uh, you can use uh, different speed upgrades and energy upgrades. That will help this process move faster. Uh, the solar neutron as well uh, can have the different upgrades. I do recommend using them, especially since this only works during the day. Making as much as you can during that time will be beneficial to you. Okay? So next thing we're going to need is we're going to need some lithium dust to get this started. This. Grab ourselves some lithium dust. We're going to place the lithium dust inside the chemical oxidizer. Now you can have um, an automated system, maybe a mystical farm that produces ingots and automatically crushes them, feed into here. You can automate this in different ways, um, but the main important thing is we need to get lithium dust inside. But once we do, it's going to start processing that, and it's going to turn that into liquid lithium. Lithium is going to come over here, as you can see it right there, it is converting into tritium. So lithium itself turns into like an orange liquid or fuel, whereas tritium is a green. So you know you're getting the right thing when it shows tritium. Now, it, now that you have the tritium, you have a couple different options. You can run this directly into another machine uh, using another basic pressurized tube. Uh, so say if you wanna run this directly into your mechanism fusion reactor, 
you can do that. Um, or you can run it into any of the tanks, any of the gas tanks. So if we take this, grab ourselves a basic gas tank, pop that on the end of it, you'll see that that's filling up with our tritium. Um, when I connect it to uh, my fusion reactor, I normally have it running into the biggest gas tank I can make and then coming out of that tank and into the reactor. Uh, because if you have the speed and power upgrades in this, it will produce tritium faster than your reactor is going to use it. So again, since this only works during the day, that'll allow excess to build up inside of your tank. So at nighttime, it still has fuel to use. Uh, so I would recommend using the biggest gas tank you can, uh, preferably the rear one. But that is how you go ahead and you process yourself some tritium gas, uh, which can be used, like I said, not only in that mechanism reactor, uh, you can use it to make other fuels and components, um, and it can be used in some of the other reactors, for example, the nuclear craft fusion reactor. Um, as a fuel source there as well. So a lot of different uses, uh, not too hard to put together. The only real complication is making sure that it has access to sunlight. All right, good deal. Uh, well, that's going to do us for this tutorial. Again, uh, not an overly complicated one, but uh, a part of a bigger picture. Um, Again, I will have links down in the description of this tutorial uh, showing specifically how this and other components are combined to make fuels for the mechanism fusion reactor. If you're looking for that component, you'll find more of that down there. Uh, if you're just using it for another build, hopefully this will help you. Uh, but that's going to do us for this tutorial. If you have any questions about this or any of my tutorials, please be sure to put those down in the comments section, and I will do my very best to get back with you as quickly as I possible can, as well as any recommendations or suggestions you may have for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. I'm always looking for new ideas. Uh, you can also visit me on stream. I stream here on YouTube live uh, every Sunday and Monday night starting at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and then the rest of the week, you can find me over on my Twitch channel, uh, which is also called Only Draven Gaming, but it's all one word. There's no space or underscore in between. Even if I'm not streaming Minecraft, I'm always happy to answer questions if I can. If I'm streaming Minecraft, you know, we maybe can jump in and see if we can figure out the solve for your question together. Um, lastly, you can go to my website, onlydraven.com. At the very bottom of that uh, homepage, you'll see a place you can submit questions or feedback or recommendations via email. Always happy to hear from you that way. Uh, while you're there, you'll find links to my actual, or you'll actually find my streaming schedule, which shows you where I'm streaming and when, and a bunch of other links like social media stuff you might. Well, that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. 